everybody. My name is Miss Jessica Stevan. You can call me Miss Jess or Mrs. Stevan, whichever one you prefer. I am your new visual arts teacher here at Montezuma Elementary, and I couldn't be more excited to get to know everybody and be a part of this Montezuma family. <laughs> Now, for some of you guys, I know that you know this classroom better than I do. You probably know where every material is. You have a system down. Um, this might be your favorite room. I don't know. But for some of us, we're new or we're kinder and we've never been here before. So I'm going to give you guys a little quick tour, a little quick video of what this classroom looks like. And um, it, the thing is, guys, there's no there's no art on the walls. There's not much right now. So. That's why I'm so excited for you guys to get back to school here in the next, hopefully, couple months um, so that we can make these walls colorful, so that we can hang as much art as possible, right? <laughs> All right, guys, so um, the most important thing we can be covering right now as students and teachers is really getting efficient at working virtually, okay? So learning how to navigate all of these classrooms, how to get places that you need to be, um, how to get to meetings, things like that. Now, the first thing that we can do um, this week is actually watch uh, Mr. Taylor's virtual tutorial. He did a really great video on his library tab that gives a lot of instruction on how to access all of these classrooms, how to access Google site. And um, that's probably the most helpful thing for you right now. The other thing you can do to help and get familiar is watch Mr. A and Coach B's intro videos on the music and PE tabs because they have a lot of very important information on how their specific classes will be ran. So be sure to watch all three videos, and now you're watching mine, so that makes four. Make sure you're watching all of those so that you can really get an idea of what we're going to be expecting here next week. Now, um, the best thing you can do as well is read and practice the specials instruction letter that was emailed to you, you guys and your family um, that gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to access art, PE, music, and libraries. So you have it all written down. Everything's going to be written on this guide. And then you have actually Mr. Taylor's video that you can also look at. So that should give you everything you need to be able to get into these classrooms. Now, let's talk about art supplies. I know that a lot of us do not um, have a lot of art supplies at home. And that's fine, okay? It took me years to build my art studio and collect art supplies and buy them from from garage sales and and other people okay so I understand that a lot of us aren't going to have a full studio of supplies at home and these big art kits now I do really really encourage you to try to get some sort of copy paper drawing paper um, if all you have is loose leaf lined paper right now that's okay um, try to get some pencils try to get some crayons at least um, and maybe a pen and eraser um, Guys, guys, I'm going to be extremely understanding of the fact that um, not all of us are going to have that, okay? So don't feel like you need to be pressured to have all these fancy art supplies so that you can keep up with art class. I'm going to try to make these art lessons flexible and open-minded so that students can really adapt to using a variety of mediums and materials to become well-rounded artists. That is a huge asset as an artist is to be able to use a plethora i'm going to use that word it means a big array a big arrangement a huge amount of materials um, without any sort of plan okay so guys it's really important to be able to get good at using a lot of materials so don't be afraid to just find anything you can get your hands on if your grandma has scrap fabric um, scrap yarn if somebody has uh, in your family collects a lot of recycled objects like bottles or, um, you know, cans, uh, cardboard especially. Cardboard is going to be great. Um, anything you guys can see, okay? Anything that you think that you can make art out of, start making a little pile. 
because that's going to be your resource while we're, we're learning from home, okay? Now, if you can get supplies, try to get these ones, if possible, all right? Pencils, erasers, scissors, white school glue, watercolor paint, acrylic paint, crayons, markers, drawing paper, paint brushes, maybe even some hot glue if you're with if you're with a supervised parent, right? So whatever you guys um, feel that you're going to need, try to start collecting. Um, but all of my art lessons are going to be extremely flexible to us not having a lot of materials right now. Okay, so don't start panicking and thinking you're going to have a, have to have all this stuff. Now, if you really, really can't get a hold of materials for whatever reason, um, just please email me and we'll talk. Okay, have your parents email me. Um, I'm your teacher and I'm here for you. Okay, don't stress about anything. We got this. All right, guys. All right, guys. And just keep practicing, practicing, practicing on trying to get in and out of Google Classroom, um, Google Site, everything else that we're going to be using.